great journey begins with a single step. In the NBA, it's more like a sprint. The game here is faster and more physical than any you've ever played before. It's time to prove that you have what it takes to be the one. Welcome to the league. What is up, PSG family, and welcome back. We are jumping into NBA Live 18, and I don't mean just jumping. We're like nose diving, swanton bomb onto NBA Live 18, jumping into the one mode. Now, this is one of the modes I've been excited for, more excited than for Dynasty mode. I've been wanting to bring back my power forward, and finally, we get the chance to do that. And guys, if you're new to the channel, real quick, I upload daily on these videos, so make sure you're subscribing. I'm a 2K and NBA Live YouTuber, and if you guys subscribe, that would be dope. Now, let's get into this video. This is my first NBA game, guys. First game of the season, making my debut. You guys see the menu looking all pretty. You guys saw the daily objectives and the things that I got accomplished against the Spurs, which is our first game. Now, that is a tough first game to show up against, going against the San Antonio Spurs, who are consistently one of the best teams in the league. So we're going up against these guys in my first game of the season. And we saw that I have to score four points. I score four points in this game. We accomplish one of my goals. Now, if I don't score four points, that's just embarrassing, right? I was putting up like 30 a game on NBA Live 16 as a power forward. So if I don't drop four points in my first game, feel free to unsubscribe for me, okay? Okay, so here we go. We're jumping into game number one. I'm so excited for this. I already know my matchup is going to be LaMarcus Aldridge, and here we go. Now, this camera angle, I wasn't feeling it too much. You guys are going to see I switch it up later on. But I'm coming up with a steal already. Running on this fast break. Hitting it out to JJ Redick, but he doesn't do anything with it. Hit a little pump fake. Pulling up. Mid-range. No, I miss it. I missed my first jumper of my career. That is just depressing. A bad start for me. And I'm trying to post up Danny Green. I see I got the mismatch. And I turned the ball over. Come on, PSG, pull it together. But like I said, my excuse was this camera angle. I was not feeling it. But, I mean, you look at the score, 17-6. to So clearly the Philadelphia 76ers were doing work while I was out of this game. They brought me in the game. We got to keep up this good momentum. Another pump fake on Aldridge driving to the rim. A tough shot, no foul, and I would miss once again. So it's not looking too good at my debut. I'm already 0 for 2. I got LaMarcus Aldridge scoring on me, and I have a turnover already guys so my teammate great isn't looking good either I'm at a 67 now I need my first bucket of the game can we get it here nope an ugly layup right there he just continue performing horribly in my first game you guys can see I'm cold at this point and the San Antonio Spurs come right back and drain a three ball right there so it's 17 to 11 the Spurs are working back into this lead and I'm just messing up and I am screwing up I'll be honest with you guys I'm playing so bad I'm just trying to get my first bucket running this pick and pop right here I'm gonna kick it out for a little jumper misses that one but I'm grabbing this rebound going up and throwing down for my two points my first two points thankfully we got that one out of the way and hey, I got my first clear bucket on a dunk in a very authoritative dunk might I say so I got my first two points now I can calm down I'm driving to the rim right here going to the lane throwing it up and getting the and one Let's go. We're picking it up, man. After that horrible start, we're going to the rim. Got a nice little and one. Check this out one more time. Danny Green on me. I'm making them pay for stealing the ball. Get out of my way. Throwing up a beautiful jumper off the backboard. Or should I say floater? And I would go to the line right here for my free throw. And we would knock that one down. So I got five points in this game. Already accomplishing my goal. Don't forget. I had to score four points to complete an objective, and I did that pretty easily in this first quarter. Now, Paul Gasol gets a nice little turnaround jumper on me right there. The Spurs, once again, working their way back in this lead, and we're having some trouble getting a good offensive rhythm going, but a beautiful bounce pass to Ben Simmons. Did you see that? A beautiful bounce pass to Ben Simmons right there. Don't forget, don't sleep on me. If you're new to this channel, I was a point forward on NBA Live 16. I was throwing dimes all day long. And I'm going to continue it on NBA Live 18 as I take the strong to the rim. Check this out one more time. Rudy Gay on me. Already a mismatch. I'm taking him strong to the rim. Where's the and one ref? A nice shot off the backboard right there. So I got seven points in this game. 
looking pretty decent at this point. Definitely picking it up towards the end of that first quarter. Ugly jumper right there, though. I'm just trying to get some nice shots going in right now. I'm trying to get some pretty jumpers to go in right now, but I'm missing that one. And I'm going to miss this one as well. I need a three ball to go in is what I need. Right now, I'm just shooting three balls because I know that's what I need. But look at this. Getting the steal. Not giving up on defense after I missed that jump. I got back. Stole that ball. Went to the rim and got fouled. So I would go to the free throw line. Now, unfortunately, I would only hit one of the two, of the, one of the two free throws. Now, check this out, man. That's called commitment to defense right there. I didn't even let the computer get a fast break going. So I would go to the line. I'm cold, but I definitely knocked out my first free throw, thankfully, because that would take away the cold rhythm. As you guys can see right here, I'm no longer cold, but of course, your boy misses the free throw. So it's 27 to 15, and the Spurs drain a three ball right there. So they're working their way back into this lead, and we're jumping into the third quarter. The three ball, no, I miss once again. I cannot get a three ball to go in. I'm a point shooter. I'm a point forward. I should be knocking down these three balls all day long. I've gotten some good looks, but right now I'm just cold. You guys can see once again, I've got that cold rhythm going. So I definitely got to pick it up. But instead, I throw a dime into Joel Embiid right there for a nice little easy bucket, getting me an assist. But like I said, struggling with my jumper. And I'm trying to be aggressive, maybe a little bit too aggressive. A nice pass right there. Missing, unfortunately, in the Spurs. I'm going to take advantage of that. It's only a five-point game. So you see this. I mean, the Spurs came all the way back in this game, draining another three ball right there, Tony Parker. And just like that, it's a two-point game. So we had that huge lead in that first quarter. And just like that, it disappears as we're in this third quarter. Rudy Gay gets wide open. That's my man. That's my defense. I'm playing some bad defense as well as I let my man get wide open. So here we go. I got the ball one more time. I'm trying to run another pick and roll, pick and roll with Joel Embiid. Going to the rim, throwing up an ugly shot. Thankfully, Joel Embiid was there for that cleanup because we definitely needed it. But the Spurs, once again, they're not going to go away at all. They get inside to Paul Gasol right here. A nice cut and a beautiful layup. I tried to defend that. I tried to send that out of here. Not working right there as the Spurs take the lead by one point. Some good defense right there. I finally grab a rebound. I got five rebounds in this game. So I'm working on a double-double, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Now, check this out. I got this mismatch over Tony Parker. That's an easy bucket. That is easy money right there. Looking pretty solid at this point. I'm kind of picking it up, right, guys? I'm getting back in the groove. Okay, I got to learn this game just like I had to learn NBA Live 16. Now, Ginobili going hard to the rim. The old man getting the and one. They go back up by one point. They would knock that free throw down and go up by two. And towards the end of this third quarter is basically where they're going to take me out. But check this out. I got a little achievement right there. Defense matters. Basically, I locked down Rudy Gay in that backcourt. Now, we would actually go on to win this game by five points. So, we're starting out 1-0 and on the season. And I had a pretty solid game, 10 points, 5 rebounds. You guys are going to get a good look at my stats in a little bit, but we're going to check out these quick replays. Throwing it down. That was my first career bucket showing off for the Philadelphia 76ers. And another bucket right here while I went against Danny Green. Look, push him out of my way. He's too little. Going off that backboard and getting the end one. And those were my highlights. Only two. Only two highlights, guys. We got that game out of the way. That was a pretty bad game. By my standards, compared to NBA Live 16, where I was killing it. You guys get a quick look at my statistics right there with a 93 teammate grade. I did not feel like I played like a 93 teammate grade deserves. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. See you guys in the next episode.